Good afternoon and girls, so this is our pattern number 3. Okay, so in this pattern, we will be removing the background and change its color. So the first thing that you have to do is select the object using the quick selection tool. So you go to uh, the tools here in the toolbox and then look for the quick selection tool and then select the object this is the object the woman so i will just adjust you can adjust also the size of your brush like this and then run it here inside the object okay Okay, be careful. So you have to run it inside the object. Okay, so that's how. And now if you notice, some of the parts are not selected. So if I'm going to zoom it in like this, and give this one the magnifying tool or the pan tool. So there is a part here that I did not able to select the lips and here on the eyes. So all you have to do is go back to the quick selection tool and then go at the options bar on top. Okay, here you can find the add selection and subtract from selection. So since we want to add the selection because there are parts that are not added in the selection so we will be using the plus or the add to selection and then i will just adjust my size brush or my brush size and then run it here so that this part will be added in my selection okay and then same with the lips there okay so i selected it already here on top also this one so i will be adding some parts so i will just move my mouse pointer here okay so that i can select my object there so if you want to add selection you can also add, for example, this part. And then... Uh, we will deduct this part by that, so that it will not be included in the selection. Okay? So some parts are, not, are selected, so I will just add it this part in my selection okay so i'm using plus okay so that it will not be selected okay there so i'm done already with the selection so i'll press ctrl j or ctrl jack okay i separated already my object now after that just add a new layer color it with a new gradient color and then run it here on the layer number two so just drag from one side to another there and then just drag it downward here yeah. so that's how you change the background of the photo okay you can also add names or text. Just click T and then just click the canvas and then type your name. So for example, I will be typing computer and then click move tool and resize. 
click move tool again and apply okay there so here you can add your name if you want So you can also change the size or the font. Just go back to T and then you can change now the font there. And then you can also, if you want to put some effects on your text, you can also add here the warp text. This is the warp text wherein you can add different warp effects for your text and there <clears throat> okay then click ok you can also change the font if it can be red So there. So that's how. Now, if you think that you want to you change the background using the picture, just go to File and then open a picture. So you can choose another picture for your background. So for example, I will be selecting this one. Then click OK. And then click move tool, drag it. Okay, go in here. And then resize. There. As you can see, you cannot see any more your text because in the layer palette, it is below the picture. Okay, so you just move the text upward. Move it upward. So if you want, you can put it on top of the model or below the model. Okay? So that's how you change your background in Photoshop. So you can now resize your text like this. Okay, then click Move Tool, then Apply. So that's all. You can now save your work by going to File, Save As, and then just type your surname. And then make sure that the format here is Photoshop. And then just click Save. Then click OK. That's all.